Hi everyone, welcome to Crypto Market, the educational channel about cryptocurrencies. Stellar Lumens is a very popular cryptocurrency in the ecosystem, and the Trezor Wallet allows you to store it completely safely. The thing is, that Stellar is not stored directly using the Trezor Suite. To be able to store it in the Trezor Wallet, you must use another compatible wallet that allows you to link it. In this video, I am going to show you how to store the Stellar Lumens cryptocurrency in the Trezor Wallet through Account Viewer. Remember that, Account Viewer is the official Stellar Lumens wallet. The direct way to access the wallet is by typing in the browser, accountviewer.stellar.org. I am going to place this address in the description of the video in case you want to use it. On the official website, you can find it by selecting the option that says Real Use Cases in the menu. You go to Products and Tools. And now, go down until you reach the section that says Interact with the Network. You select Explore Accounts, and that's it, you get to the wallet. The first thing I recommend is to add it to Favorites at once so that you have faster access and avoid possible scams. Here you find the four options to connect. These first two are browser wallets that are only used to store Stellar. And below, you find the Trezor Cold Wallet, the best in the entire crypto ecosystem. You select Connect with Trezor. If you don't have the Trezor Bridge installed, the website automatically takes you to the installer. Once installed, return to the main page and select again Connect with Trezor. Here you select Allow once for this session to allow account viewer to read the device's public keys. And now, you export the public address of Stellar. Enter security pin. Here you place the parse phrase if you want to use the hidden wallet. I'm going to select the standard wallet. The address appears here, and at the same time it also appears on the device. You confirm on the device, and that's it. This is the public address you will use to receive the cryptocurrency. This message tells us that this account is currently inactive because it must have at least one Stellar stored here for it to be activated automatically. I'm going to transfer some Stellar to show you how the process is. To receive, select this button and see that the same address appears here. It begins in GPF and ends in E4L. Copy it. You go to the exchange. Here you select the cryptocurrency. In this section, you paste the address. Verify that the Stellar network is selected. And this is very important. Memos are additional and optional information that is added to transactions to identify them. Memos are used a lot in exchanges because they use group accounts, so that additional information is what directs the transaction to our individual account. Note that to receive Stellar in the Trezor wallet, you don't need any memo. This is because Trezor uses an individual address. Here you select the box indicating that this transaction does not require a memo. Here you enter the amount you are going to send. You parse the security filter, and that's it. In a few seconds the Stellar appear in the wallet. When you make the first transfer to the wallet, it is best to log out and log in again so that it is updated and the message that the account is inactive is removed. Here it is very important to understand that the Stellars are in the address of the Trezor wallet. For example, if I go to the Exodus wallet, which is also compatible with Trezor and Stellar, and I connect the Trezor, look that the XLM also appear here and they can be sent and received without any problem. Here you can see that it is the same address. It starts at GBF and ends at E4L. Look the message that appears below. A memo isn't required when you receive Stellar in Exodus. Now, I am going to show you how to send Stellar from the wallet to the exchange. You select the cryptocurrency. Here you verify the network and copy the address. Now in the wallet, 
you select send, and here you paste the address. Look, it automatically recognized that the address belongs to the Mexc exchange, and warns us that we need to place the memo that identifies our account. Here you enter the amount, and select the type of memo. Exchanges typically use IDs that are just numbers. You select ID. You copy it, and paste it here. Here you can see the fee, which is practically free. And it also tells us if the network is experiencing congestion. Sometimes it appears in red, orange, or green. You select continue. You verify the information. And now, you confirm on the device, and the Stellar are sent. Now on the exchange, it already appears that the deposit is being executed. Keep in mind that when you are going to send Stellar from these wallets, you should always leave at least one Stellar there, because if you try to send all the balance you have, it will show you an error. Remember that it is best to store your funds in the Trezor wallet so that they remain completely safe. And you can complement the Trezor wallet with Exodus and Account Viewer. The perfect combination. Well, that's all for this video. I tried to make the video very clear. Thanks so much for the support, and don't forget subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next videos.